Hey guys, hello from Disney Springs. Today I'm so excited because I'm actually over here meeting up with my friend Claire. Claire is such a sweet friend. She's been on some of my videos in the past. She is also a vlogger. I will go ahead and link all of her information, but she actually was one of the people that inspired me to move to Florida originally. Like I first had seen her vlogs when she did the Disney College program. And it's just so like, this is why I love YouTube. Like it was so amazing how YouTube like connected us both. And then we were able to connect when I moved down here to Orlando and she was out on vacation she is so sweet and I feel very fortunate to call her a real life friend now as well you know in addition to being internet Disney friends you know the Disney community connects us all I always get so excited when she is out here it's just so amazing how you know the Disney community has connected us and now we have a real life friendship that has come from you know getting to connect over a mutual love of Disney so yeah I'm excited we're gonna be hanging out here at Disney Springs today we don't have an exact set plan we're gonna see where the wind takes us I haven't been over to Springs to do like a morning Springs visit in a while and this is always the best time if you want to shop and not have a lot of the crowds You can really enjoy just like light crowds being able to go in and out of all the stores you want to see So I think it's gonna be good. Oh the other thing Claire had mentioned um, So I'm actually standing right now in front of summer house by the lake And I know she really wants to try the cookies that they have inside here. I've actually had the cookies in here twice they are amazing. I'm trying to work my way through trying them all. So yes, we're definitely gonna be stopping here today. I do know that much. up because we said oh let's sit down first and have a drink and then we'll go walk around Disney Springs and like we'll catch up it's been how long four hours four, four hours, hours later. four hours later we need that little like sponge SpongeBob yeah. thing. four hours later <laughs> that just shows it's good to sit with a good friend and have a nice yeah catch up catch up didn't on even life. know what time it was we were just yeah. mattering on <laughs> genuinely I thought it was gonna have been like two hours past, I know. but no four hours later <laughs> here we are so we, we just sat here at Starbucks. I have a strawberry lemonade and we were just looking at the Disney Springs balloon and it has been very, very peaceful. But now I think we're gonna go get some food. Yeah. We're gonna do shopping. Shopping yes. is very fun. It's always nice on a daytime too. I said that when I first got in like daytime Disney Springs, getting to so not have the crowd. Yeah, it's always a bit quieter, isn't it? It's yes, a really nice exactly. experience Springs in the daytime. So yes, we're gonna go head on. Where do you wanna head first? Do we know? Should we go get the cookie? We'd spend four hours. Let's get hours. the cookie. Yes, I think we need some food. <laughs> Here we go. Summer House on the Lake. We're going to go to the cookie bar. So this is a restaurant as well. I need to still try the actual restaurant. I've been here twice in the past to get the cookies. They are very good. I'm excited to introduce Claire to it. I think we're going to try some different ones today and we're going to share so we can get to try more. <laughs> Yeah, it was really nice. The first time I tried this, it was a few weeks ago. I was here with a friend and we sat out on the main patio here. And I love that they have this space. It's so nice. So yeah, they have the main restaurant and everything is inside there and a back patio. But the front patio here, this can just be seating for if you're coming to get cookies or drinks from inside there, you can just come sit out here and relax. It's kind of like a, a lounge. restaurant they actually have a couple I think there's like four different bars that are in here but over this direction they have some merchandise and then here is the cookie bar <laughs> isn't it amazing it blows your mind it's massive yeah oh look at that one I think that's new the lemon cookie I may have just not seen it before look at the crispy rice chalk what is that it's like a s'mores one almost there's so many toppings <laughs> They are really good. I'm trying to work my way through the line. <laughs> so I think we're deciding what we're gonna get, but they have so many. So we have ginger snap, the fudge bomb. This was one I was debating. I haven't tried this yet. Crispy rice chocolate chip. Oh my gosh, look at that one cinnamon roll with all the glaze. And then I have tried this one. This is really good, the sea salt chocolate chip. We're in line. Final decisions are having to be made on what cookies we're going with. They also have brownies. And yeah, this is a nice, if you're looking for a little stop off in Springs. Compared to Gideon's, Gideon's always has a long wait. Whereas here, you saw we just literally walk right up. 
no queuing up at all. <laughs> that was very British of me. I said queuing up. Wasn't that impressive? I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Hanging out for me for too long. Uh, we're four queuing up <laughs> four hours and now I'm talking like this. Okay, the goods have been acquired. We're gonna come sit here. Isn't this so nice, just out on the porch? I love that they have this area. And like I said, we didn't have to wait for this or anything. We just got to walk up. It's kind of first come, first serve that you can just sit out here. If you got some cookies from inside, you can come relax. <laughs> got the Instagram picture. Okay, so we have our cookies. And yeah, this is gonna be Claire's first time trying Summer House in the Lane. What do you think so far? Like atmosphere wise, like yeah. cookie bar the experience? is really good so far. We've not had to wait like at Gideon's. Exactly, that's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's very convenient. So we're going to see now how the cookies live up. You've gone for the pinky. Yes, pinky. Yeah. I got the uh, yeah, pinky and you went for an original. I got the classic chocolate chip and then I got, it was like the lemon, lemon cake or lemon cello. One, it looked like a lemon pound cake, like glazed thing. It looked really good, so we're going to try. Okay, so here are the cookies. I have classic chocolate chip here. We have the lemon, and then this one is the pinky. So we're gonna divide them up and try a little bit. They were able to get us proper cutlery. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to divide them up now. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors of cutting, yes. cutting the Gideon's cookie? Of course. Or no, not Gideon's. I said the wrong thing. Um, summer House on the Lake. Summer House on the Lake. It's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. The Summer House on the Lake cookie bar cookies. Here we go, do the honors. Oh, it's a bit sturdier. It's a, a little bit harder than They that. are crunchier cookies, yeah. maybe. The one that I had, like, I feel like this one maybe could be soft like the Gideon's. I don't think I've had the traditional chocolate chip one, though. The one I had before with my friend was a chocolate sea salt one, and it was thinner. So we'll see if this one's a chewy one or what the consistency is. I want to get pinky on the original. <laughs> So we have cut into the traditional chocolate chip cookie, and this one is a bit denser and seems chewier, like softer, kind of like a Gideon's. So that's why I'm excited to try this one. Okay, so trying these out, we were just discussing, and this, the traditional chocolate chip, it has some Gideon similarities. I feel like it comes down to preference of like what you like on that day. Claire brought up a really good point that this one is maybe less toppings, whereas the Gideon's one is always like so loaded with toppings, which sometimes that can be a good thing. Other times you might want to actually taste the actual cookie itself. So I think Summer House on the Lake is good for that. We kind of have, hello. Oh, Claire just got us water. Cause the other thing is these are like so, so sweet. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this all the time. Thank you. Yeah, these are very sweet. I think it'd be very hard to finish an entire one yourself. They're definitely shareable, and then you have good leftovers to take. It's very sweet. It's a lot. <laughs> but you enjoyed it? You yeah. 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 And then I think just having no weight, choosing a different flavor every time you cook, they're just all perks. finished our cookies now we are strolling through springs i think we're gonna go in world disney yes that's shopping. the plan shopping time well, well they have get... a new spirit jersey that's a zip up it's more like a hoodie i don't and think I i've seen this yeah it's nice what color is it so there's navy black and gray Great. those are like good staples but yeah you could actually <laughs> yeah. be a functional sweatshirt yeah. like all the time sometimes i feel like i love my spirit jerseys but the traditional ones i don't get as much use out of them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's too warm here. It's too yeah. warm here. Or like it gets during winter, it's like then I need a full, like a fleece. warmer jumper. It's yeah. like one extreme or the other. <laughs> but maybe I could get used out of something like this. Okay. Claire's gonna try on. We found them. We've got green. We've got gray. We've got navy. No black. And guess what one I wanted? Black. We haven't looked on the other side though. Let's see. Do you wanna go? I'm gonna stay by your purse. Right. Let's try it. It is cute, I like, I like it. For you. <laughs> it's a fashion show. <laughs> Amazing. 
That is really cute. It looks like it's a nice thick sweatshirt too, like very good quality. I like that it has the Walt Disney World is like all yeah. on the sleeve. You have Walt Disney and World. <laughs> it actually matches perfectly what you're wearing. You have the blue tones. <laughs> so how much is the sphere jersey? So it's 69.99. I'm going to think about it. You're going to think about it. <laughs> you could have just saved yourself $70. Yeah, $70. Yeah. <laughs> it's always exciting. I, we're in World of Disney and my friend had asked me, we thought that they stopped selling these ears, these Sully ears. And she, seriously, she wanted these so bad for, it's her niece's birthday. And they have them. So this was like such a win. I did not think of all places. In the middle of the world of Disney, one of the busiest stores in Disney Springs, but they had exactly what I've been looking for. So this is a win. We're gonna buy some silly ears. They also have the hat. I sent her this too. The fuzzy, fuzzy silly hat. But I think we're going with the ears. That's what she liked. And we've done quality control. We done, yes. <laughs> we've got the Do you right. want to demonstrate? Yeah. Yes. Because you have to look. <laughs> we had to make sure nothing was flopping forward. Oh yes, Claire will demonstrate. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. So we've just been doing some window shopping. I made my purchase for my friend. That was a really good find in World of Disney. But we're actually gonna go ahead and take the walking path over because we're just enjoying strolling. So yes, we're just enjoying now strolling, talking. And we're like, we should walk over. This is your idea. We'll walk over to Saratoga Springs and get yeah. to have a little walk around there and just it's a beautiful day like it the is sky gorgeous. is so blue it's just like a nice being out day yeah. and just enjoying the vibes and, and Saratoga Springs is so close to Disney Springs it's such a nice little walk especially in the sunshine exactly this is where my family stayed here once before oh, yeah? have you stayed here at, yeah it's yeah. nice isn't it it's, it's really, really nice. nice and it's just so well situated being so close to Springs it's, it's a great exactly. resort yeah amazing so yeah we're gonna go walk around Saratoga now We've just been strolling around. We kind of went, it's really nice. You can do an, a complete loop if you want from Disney Springs. Basically go down this pathway and then back over across to Disney Springs. You also pass the golf course. I've played this course one time. I'm trying to remember what it is. I think this is Lake Buena Vista is down here. Yes, I think Lake Buena Vista <laughs> is down this way. But I think we're going to backtrack a bit and we're going to turn in and kind of head down to the main lobby and have a look through there. It's, very, it's a good thing to like add on if you're at Springs and yeah, just want to walk around, get a drink and kind of stroll down this pathway. So the pro of staying here too, that's what we love when we had stayed here a couple years ago was waking up in the morning and just going out. We would take a walk, go get a Starbucks or coffee and come back to the hotel. Look and yeah, look view. at this view. This is just absolutely amazing. It's like you have some resorts like Grand Floridian, Polynesian with the appeal of you walk to Magic Kingdom. If you're a Disney Springs person, you can't get much better than this. You stay here and you walk over, you have all the entertainment you could want, shopping, restaurants. We found the lobby. We were a little lost for a moment. This is one of re lost. the resorts. It is massive. So yeah, we were a little lost for a brief moment and now we found our way to the pool. This resort is just so nice and quiet. I think we're gonna try to do pin trading. I think we'll end up on the slide if we don't. We found the lobby. We're not lost anymore. <laughs> lost us? <laughs> not lost at all. <laughs> I'm excited for this because I, I don't currently collect pins. Well, actually, okay. I have some pins from like my kindergarten trip to Disney. <laughs> I have like a collection of pins that were like from my childhood trips okay. to Disney. Oh, I bet that, you don't want to trade those. Exactly. Like yeah. I think some of them are actually now like valuable or something. So I'm like, I'm going to save those. But I think if I get back into it, I would really enjoy the aspect of like hunting for the pins. Yeah. So it is fun. Yeah, you can just I get start. like a pin starter set. Um, they have like four or five pins on there. Then you can just trade at, so they're in shops, DVC counters, receptions, like where else? Let's, cast members have them as well on their pouch now. Yes, they, took they just that started off. that again. Yeah, That's they started cool. that off after COVID. So yeah, there's always pins everywhere. Pins everywhere. So if you have a favorite character, it's fun to find your favorite characters or special ones. And yeah, it's good. That's cool. I need to, I know once I start, I'm gonna be addicted. But I always get excited when I'm with a friend who is pin trading and I'm like, I get to partake yeah. in the hunt. So what, do you have a certain one you collect? So I, well, Dumbo's my favorite character, so I'll look out for Dumbo, but I also just look out for anything that's special or that's different. A lot of the time there are ones that are on every board. So anything that's different, I look for. That makes yeah. sense. So you don't want like a traditional 
anything too common. Yeah, yeah. it needs to be special enough. To, there's yeah. a there's a lot of sets that are common, like the feet set. There's just one with shoes everywhere, and then we already saw one of that. Back those. Those. Yeah. yeah, so there's some sets that are everywhere. So I just look for something different. different. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like a starter set. You can get a piece like this, or even with the lanyard if you want that. So you have so your full. You're like ready to go. Forty dollars. So it's like what ten dollars a. A pin, and you get the lanyard. Oh, and this so is that's 34. a good deal. And you get six, so that could start you off well. Yeah, I know it would be an addiction if I got oh, into so it. I wouldn't want to trade those. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, that's always how I feel, and I know I was like that even when I was little. And I, the pins I was collecting, I was like, I'm buying this one because I like yeah. this one. Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not you almost it. need to buy ones that you don't care about as your traders to get rid of. Yeah, right. or do the mystery pin sets. I know that's what a lot of people do. Is you do. The mystery sets and then you keep the ones you like yeah. get rid of the ones that you don't and they're fun as well not knowing what you're gonna have so that's these it's like the blind bag idea i do like that concept oh, so you can get any of those oh it's fun we found the pin board here in the quick service what is the artist palette quick service yeah. location they have the pin board oh they have the mystery box too oh, hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Also have pin trading oh, here if you like. That's exciting. <laughs> that's what just came back, right? Yeah. The, yes. That's really it's, cool. So a lot of cast members will be carrying those in the merchandise locations. Amazing. Any that call to you. So what happens with this? You just choose. So for this, you each choose two numbers and you pull them out, and you don't have to trade if you don't want to trade. Okay. Just like that's the. So board. we can do two each. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay, that's yeah, fun. Let's yeah. see what else. Okay. All right, please. Go for twelve. Okay. An and each. A number two, please. Thank you. You're welcome. A little birdie. And then, did you want to choose two numbers as well? Oh, sure. Okay. Um, what do we do? I'll do seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> this is fun. The anticipation of. Oh, little mushroom. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wow. Oh, maybe he's from get Fantasia. Some sort of bird right? if you get, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say 24. 24. Oh, not Is it a bird? bird? Bell. Bell. Oh, oh, that's a cute one. Yeah. With the rose. Any of those call to you no, that you want to? We'll pass. pass. Yeah, of thank course. you, though. How okay. cute. So Claire did find one that. You were gonna go for rope, rope drop, drop regular. regular. That's so it's cute. cute isn't it? I have never metal. seen that one before. No, it's unique. Happy with that. <laughs> we just had a lovely little chat sitting up here at Saratoga. Now we're gonna catch the boat back to Disney Springs. And I think we're gonna go eat dinner. Yeah. That's our game plan. just told us that it's supposed to be in like one minute here at 716 there's supposed to be a rocket launch and I it's very funny when I believe we were staying at Saratoga Springs was the first time I saw a Florida rocket launch or no we were staying at one of the Disney Springs hotels and we were walking back over but from this bridge I saw the rocket launch and so I know they're this direction and we're waiting we don't see it they do get scrubbed kind of often though so I wonder if there was a delay but if you're ever in Disney Springs and wanting to see a rocket launch, come to this bridge. I know for a fact you can see them. We spotted it. You can't see it. I'd have to really zoom in. Oh, wait, in there. Do you see how it just left the atmosphere? Now it's just wow. the streak. That was so cool. <laughs> I don't know how we just a rocket launch. Oh, you can still see it. Oh, yeah, you can still see a little bit of it going. Wow. And it's so crazy. Like, You'll see, it just all of a sudden it disappears and you only see the trail of it. That was so cool. I find them fascinating. I love them. Me too. 
Have you seen one before here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I've lost it now. I think it's. Yeah, I've lost it. How cool is that? that I can't believe you spotted that. <laughs> we're back in Disney Springs. I think we're actually gonna go eat off site. I think Applebee's was our deciding factor. We're gonna go to Applebee's. Because look at these crowds. It's now definitely a busy, busy Disney Springs night. We hit it good earlier with our shopping and everything in the daytime. Okay, we're heading back to the Orange Garage and Claire taught me a new British word. <laughs> I love to learn new British words and phrases. So this one is heaving, heaving which means very busy. Very busy. Yes. Disney Springs is heaving. heaving. <laughs> Hence why we are going, going off that here. <laughs> We're gonna eat at Applebee's. <laughs> Of Applebee's, so yeah, we are doing the two for 20 deal. That's the thing that to love about Applebee's, they always have good promotions. It's actually been a while since I've been in an Applebee's as well. So we're starting with Caesar salad. So me and Claire have actually both gone for the same thing the Fiesta lime chicken. Look at all that cheese, that is heaven. I yeah, it's so we're cracking up at how quiet. We're saying how quiet it is in this Applebee's. It's very nice. Usually don't see it like this. We have just had an amazing day. Yeah. This has been so much fun to, I'm so happy that you were out here. And did we mention, we've made comments about what was the thing at Disney Springs. Um, it was heaving with people. Heaving. The Claire is visiting from the UK. If you watch her vlogs, you should be watching her vlogs. A Claire tale on Thank YouTube. You. Um, you do amazing content of UK travel, you just did your Disneyland Paris trip, which yes. was incredible. And now you're over here in Florida yeah. on, on your holiday. And a Disney cruise coming up too. Ooh, so yeah. Exciting. Yeah, you do so much great stuff. So follow Claire if you oh, are not already. You. But Bless it's been such an amazing day. It has. It's, I've had such a good time with you. All our catching up and chatting. It's been so nice. You're a sweetheart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bessie's sisters. <laughs> My British big sister. <laughs> but I'm so happy the Disney community, I said this earlier yeah. when I started, it has connected us and it's yes. just like, you're now a real life friend in addition to like internet Disney friends and it's just, I'm so yeah, grateful. All so because of the internet. It's exactly. great bringing yeah. like-minded people to love a Disney. Yeah. Yes, but seriously, so much fun. Like this has been an epic day. We yes. started like first thing in the morning, it's now dark out at the yeah. Applebee's. Like yeah. we just had too much to catch we up on. We didn't think we had enough at Applebee's, did we? <laughs> But here we go, the best night ended yeah. at Applebee. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. So we're gonna end the video here. This is now the time of night we just get funny. And like, okay. I always end them like, wait, and what else am I gonna say? How do I end video? <laughs> it's, got, it's my Mountain Dew. Like, we've it, gone hyper. Exactly, we've gone hyper. <laughs> Hit the like button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Wait, no, that's like. Subscribe. We it's really the Mountain Dew. Funny. I'm gonna send you this, this is great. This is gold. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. So yeah, with that, make today magical and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.